Hey, it's Pizza Dude Man. We're back to jamming out. Yep. We're on a new recording day, by which I mean we're it's it's tomorrow for us. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. We we our yes. first three episodes were done on Friday. Then the next set uh, was done on Saturday, and now it is. No, no. Thursday, Thursday, then Friday, and now today is Saturday. Yeah. Um, we're not going to get a whole lot of time in today, just a couple hours, so which is probably still going to be like eight episodes, because um, because we're going to a Halloween party today, yeah. but um, I just I just want more time to explore around New Donk City. I just got here, and this area looks huge. Oh, is this another musician I need? Oh, cool. Seeing it trash like this makes me feel kind of bad for it, but only kind of. Can I, can I possess it? No. No. Can I stomp on it? Yes! Oh, it gives you a moon. <laughs> Why not? The ground pound stomp is pretty interesting. The mayor once had a really special handbag, but she lost it. Oh, that's a cool little reference. I don't know if that's going to be relevant, but like, handbags were something that you could collect as bonus items in the original Donkey Kong, along with umbrellas and stuff. Saw some coins up here. It's weird going on like realistic trees as Mario. It just feels yeah. weird that I can shimmy up these, you know? It just like, feels look at this. Long a I mean, bit. I'm, my head's going through this branch. All right. What's up? What's with the serious face, pal? Wait a sec. Yeah, I heard about you. You, little man, you're on a musical mission for the mayor, right? Don't sweat it. Say no more. For all that she's done for this city, I'm down. Well, let's see. What else could we possibly be missing? A keyboardist? We have a drummer. We have a guitar. We have a bass. That'd be the next thing to me. I don't know if that's what we're going with, but I don't know. Yay, got a moon. Moon, moon. All right. The preparation for the festival are going smoothly, and it looks like you're actually putting a band together for, together for us. You're actually doing it. Actually putting a band together. Yeah. As opposed to we just need the one more musician. Band. Yeah, well, I'm just thinking it's like, what? Did you think I was lying that I wouldn't do that for you after I said I would? Jeez. I just have a really bad um, history. You with got to remember, men. I already beat up a robot spider for you and the giant rampaging gorilla, and also you named this city after him instead of me. Now we understand why he broke up with Pauline. <laughs> that ungrateful bitch. <laughs> Man, they just... God, it seems like there's so much I can explore around here. It's like, I, I wonder if I can like, really feel satisfied exploring it for two hours. Oh my god! Where's everyone going? Wait, let's put this uh, lever. They're going to work. Um, Is it a race to get through the crowd? Out of the way, assholes! Move it, bitches! Got it. It was a race. I could hear the timer, barely. So where are they going? Oh yeah, I was gonna check that out, wasn't I? <laughs> I love out of the way, bitches! I, I do love how they react to you bumping into them and shit. That's amazing. They're just gonna like, what the? Oh. What? Are you what? They're going Come to heaven on. and not allowed. What do you think of this, son? <laughs> Your like crotch is hitting them. Can I possess any of them? Guess not. I thought it was something in the trailer, like, possessing a guy. Maybe there's, like, for one mission, there's, like, one guy you can possess. Only one human. Which is, I don't know, I was kind of hoping I could do more. I can probably take over this rocket. Uh, where am I going? I guess I live in space now. Oh, it just warps me to another part of the map? Oh, wow. That's interesting. Okay. What's up? This is where I do all my training. Your training? His battle training. Doesn't he look like he does battle training? You bet. Hoop. No, he's an acrobatic. Hoop. Could be. In a suit. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> Whatever. That works too. Yeah. Oh no! Oh god! No! Do, 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 I guess do, that do, was do. the wrong button. It's interesting, they've, yeah, this is like the first Mario game I can think of, they don't use lives, you just lose coins if you die. That is very different. I don't mind it, what do you think? I think it's fine. I think they just, I think people are starting to think that the whole concept of lives is... is Archaic? Well, not necessarily that, oh shit, I didn't swing enough, that's the problem. Okay. Swing, swing, swing. I have to actually actively work on swinging. I, I can't just, like, hold down the joystick in the right direction. Like, the momentum only stays for so long. That's my problem. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. I was talking about... No, it's just like, I think... 
just Nintendo in particular had this whole thing where it's like, well, yeah, games have lives. But now they're more like, well, you know, if it doesn't make sense for the style of game, why bother having it? What an athlete! Hmm. That guy loves me. Look at him. What an athlete! Unlike your brother, Leo. What? Sorry. <laughs> I, I think we've only referenced that once on the channel. I know. That's an old Should reference. We it? Well, yeah, because I, I, the last time we explained it was when we used it in Mighty Number no. Nine. Um, when we did an LP of Mighty Number no. Nine, which oh, seems yeah. so long ago now. So should we explain the reference? Yeah, I will in just a second. I'm just oh. this part's kind of tricky because I have to wall jump. Keep focusing. Look at this. Bam, bam. Ha ha. That was awesome. Um, no, I mean we had this whole joke uh, with Fire Emblem Fates that we still use, like as just a little like. What, what do you call that? An in-joke now? An yeah. inside joke? Where it's like, whenever whenever someone does something well, then you, you follow it up with, unlike your brother Leo. And it's a Fire Emblem Fates reference where we joke about, because it's not like this. It's, it's not in this at all. It's not in their game at all. No, it's just something we made up while we were, while Rosie was playing through the game. <laughs> and it, <laughs> which is not on the channel or anything like no, that. It's, it's just Because I, I haven't been able to record DS games. All it is is it's just our own little, like, thing where it's like where where we pretend that um Xander is constantly comparing uh Leo to other people to well uh, specifically to Corin and yeah the, the other siblings too and stuff and we're like yeah what if he just you know followed each one with unlike your brother Leo because at the beginning of the game it seems like you know he, Xander's praising Corin and then Leo gets all huffy and is like you know you know you just that's not all there is this sword play, you, there's also magic and shit. Because Leo has like an inferiority, inferiority complex. complex. So we started making it, it's like, what if there's a reason for this inferiority complex? Because you just constantly... Xander's just, a jerk. Yeah, he, yeah, Xander keeps comparing him to Corrin or, or like anyone else. And so we, we started applying it everywhere. Like, um, it was really fucking hilarious. You, you know, I've been mentioning how uh, Taylor's been playing Fire Emblem Warriors recently. We're going to play that soon too. But, um... Uh, Taylor's been playing Fire Emblem Warriors, and he's talking about how great Elise is as a mounted magic unit in that game. And I was like, wait, well, what about Leo? Isn't he in that game, too? And he goes, yeah, but I don't use them as much. And so then, Ro Rosie and I were like, <laughs> we're like, good job, Elise. You're a great mounted uh, spellcaster, unlike your brother, Leo. <laughs> It's just this really stupid inside joke we have with each other, but it's really funny how fitting it is to certain situations. Like I when, know. Because, so, whenever I was playing the Fire Emblem Fates, um, I would joke around about, like, the dialogue, because Isaac would be like, Rosie, Rosie, just read the dialogue. I'm like, no. So I make up my own shit. Yeah, I, I, try, really I, try like to I try to make Rosie, t t you know, practice reading out loud sometimes. <laughs> because at the age of 23, I still struggle with it. But for me, right now, it's not that I struggle with it. I just get really self-conscious and embarrassed by it. Hmm. Because being dyslexic and being forced to do that all the fucking time because they thought it would actually make you better at your learning disability. Well, it can't make it worse. Well, yeah, but it's really embarrassing when you're stumbling over words in front of an entire class of people and they snicker and I, you're an now, idiot. Okay. You know, okay, it's shit okay, like that. Okay. It's, that's what makes you self-conscious. Because, like, well, yeah, I have a learning disability. I'm not going to read out loud as well as everybody else. But, God, for... Oh. But, like, everyone makes fun of you so for So, hold it. on. I bet, from based on what he said, I guess, I bet I can go into this building if I'm in the Mario Maker outfit. Oh, So, there are some okay. special things with outfits. Okay. That's cool. That's just a guess on my part. I mean, that might not even be true. Yeah. So that's why I get really, like, self-conscious and embarrassed and really don't want to read out loud. But Isaac constantly makes me do it with games all the time. But at least then it's just you and me, eh? Yeah, and, and you I don't, don't make, make fun, fun of, of you. Me, which makes me more comfortable to do it. I still am not comfortable doing it, though. So I make up my own shit, and that's where, like, the whole, like, unlike your brother Leo thing came about, because he was making me read the lines, so I just made up that kind of crap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How would normal people get up here? I mean, I got out here by backflipping, but I don't see an elevator, a staircase. They can all fly. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. They just, like, lift up with their arms out in the air, and they just fly. Whoa! What the fuck, Mario? You're such an <laughs> asshole! Look at him, he's just like, Fuck this shit! Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Why would he do that? <laughs> 
Oh! This is the alternate reality where Mario's an asshole. Maybe that's, that's why Pauline got dumped him. He's just like, Mario, I, I'm glad you saved our city, but now you're kind of a dick. <laughs> There's gotta be some point to me coming here. What was it? There's... Maybe it was to kick those cans. Maybe, Maybe it was supposed to like, kick them at something. Bowser kidnapped Peach to try to like convince her uh, that Mario's a bad boyfriend. Oh, that's the last musician I need. Why is he up on the rooftop? Up on the rooftop, musicians pause. Oh my god, this is really scary. Ready? I have to overcome my real life fear of heights from this. Oh my god, one. that's funny. Because <laughs> well, because usually it's all video game fantasy. This looks like a real city, so I'm like ah. Okay. Ah! Oh god, that makes me nauseous. See? <laughs> that reminds me of that virtual reality thing that like Taylor and the guys. It's K Rule Avenue. Huh. All right, sorry. What was that? Remember that time where like we were Fine, doing sorry. the. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Mari? <laughs> hey, this is this is how people uh, walk around in the city, right? Mario, you have no idea how to be a normal human <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> it's just this is this whole game should just be about Mario trying to adjust to being a regular person. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds like a great idea for a cartoon series. Well, there there's been several like um online series about that type of thing, like Mario in real life and like there's been lots of different or, like, interpretations. Like other video game characters in real life. Yeah. I remember there was something like that that Okay, this perspective lives. is weird. It's like it's kind of backwards. Inverted? Yeah, cuz it's like it's like it's as if you're behind Mario, but I'm not behind Mario. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is there a T-Rex in the Metro land? Why does it have a hat? Can you de-hat it? Who and... thought who thought that modeling a level after what Sonic levels do was a good idea? But it is it that T-Rex is really cute by the way. I want to snuggle its face. Like, seriously, didn't we learn from all the Sonic games that that kind of perspective sucks when you're trying to do it? Because, like, basically right now, left is right and right is left. Cartoon around at the speed of sound. And I can't see the obstacles in front of me. No one likes this. Jesus, how would I even... Do I just do I have to be out of his way? Ah! Ah. I think the T-Rex is just trying to run away from the breaking street. He's the one breaking it! But it's behind him. It's all in the past. It's all in the past. Ah, uh, jeez! Rawr! Can I need- I want to go get that moon. Oh, right, he breaks the street. Wow. I don't think you could do this one- I mean, if you- unless you got lucky. I don't see how you could do this one on your first try. Because, like, you'd have to know preemptively where that moon is going to be. Oh, God. Yeah, this is the first mission that's pretty much bullshit. <laughs> Ow! I'm, I'm holding down the accelerate button, so you just can't outspeed this thing. It's going to catch up to you. Roar. I'm just trying to stay on this side, because I know the moon's here! And I missed it. I tried my best, man. Oh my gosh. No, T-Rex. He was an asshole. But he was just hungry. How do I dismount again? Alright. I have to go back in there because I still missed a moon. Oh, great. Here we go again. Gotta get that one moon. Alright, here we go. Oh, I was hoping he would just stay dead. Hey, wait a minute. If I get off, can't I just possess him? Try it. Can I just... Because it looks like he's wearing a hat. Yeah. But couldn't I knock... Okay, garbage. Uh, but couldn't I knock his hat off and put my hat on? Okay, I gotta make sure I'm on this side, because this is where the moon will be. Come on, come on. Got it. <laughs> that screenshot, though. Ah! Well, I, I'm sure you've seen on Twitter, because I've shown you a couple, but yeah, this game has a whole, like, screenshot functionality to it. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. I don't, you know, I don't care enough to come back here and try possessing it. 
I'm sure he'll have other options to possess a T-Rex. Maybe. We'll see you guys next time for more exploring New Dark City. See you then.